piecing together a timeline trying to track the story of the suspected shooter, a student in a deadly downward spiral. ABC's Dan Harris spent the day looking for new clues about how and why he changed. Dan. Diane, good evening to you from the crime scene that is James Holmes' former apartment. Tonight we're getting a much fuller picture of this young man and his astonishing metamorphosis. In the programming that video of James Holmes at a summer science camp six years ago betrays no hint of the mayhem to come. In personal life, he enjoys playing soccer and strategy games, and his dream is to own a Slurpee machine. <laughs> you see a promising scientific mind and glimpses of humor. So I also incorporate it into a game. What better game than rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> and it is this James Holmes, so far from the flame-haired, dead-eyed, alleged mass murderer that people we spoke to today remember. He grew up comfortably in San Diego, his mom a nurse, his father a manager at a software company. According to his fifth grade teacher, He was a top student. Uh, everything that he did, he excelled in academically. His high school friends say similar things. I remember him as a very smart, humorous individual. In the fall of 2006, Holmes enrolled at the University of California, Riverside, majoring in neuroscience, graduating with honors. In the fall of 2011, he enrolled at the University of Colorado, Denver, for a Ph.D. And it was here, for reasons that remain unknown, that the trouble appears to have begun. Four months ago, police say Holmes went on a shopping spree buying guns, ammo, and explosives. On June 10th, Holmes sent an email to campus officials saying he was dropping out. No explanation. It's very unusual, very unusual for a student to withdraw from a program. On July 19th, he bought a ticket to the midnight showing of Batman, and the next day, the rampage. And today we learned that not only was Holmes receiving a federal grant for his education, but as part of that grant, he was getting $26,000 a year in spending money, which, Diane, raises the real possibility that he was using our tax dollars for his weapons. 